welcome back everybody. As you probably guessed from the title of the video, we are gonna shoot the crap out of this piece of armor here today. This is from uh, Universal Armor. It is a level 3A hard plate. So there are both uh, hard and soft plates with level 3A for folks that don't know that. Uh, pros and cons to each, I suppose. One thing that some people prefer with the hard plates is that um, they're a little bit more stab resistant um, than the soft ones, generally speaking, but it has a curb to it, as you can see, and it has the slants here, so that way you can shoulder a rifle without interfering with it. This particular one is 10 by 12, and it is freakishly light. This thing weighs 17 ounces on my scale per plate, which is comical uh, for something that should, we'll see here in a minute, stop bullet rounds. And um, in terms of pricing and those sorts of things, you guys can see um, here on your screen, we do have two channel exclusive uh, discount codes and there'll be a link um, for everything that we talk about here, either pinned in the comment section or in the video description, depending on where you're watching this. But price point wise, these things come in pretty good, especially with that code, sub $200. Um, so if they can perform well, I think that's pretty much uh, gonna be a no brainer at the price point they're coming in at and the weight and all those sorts of things. Um, but they also sent out this carrier here from Universal Armor. And uh, it's interesting, it's an interesting design. Obviously we have our mag pouches there up front, the AR-15 ones with the bungees uh, tie downs there, which is nice. It has this quick detach portion here where you can just pull that off if you want to. And it has a slide in uh, quick removal system, which is very solid. I've actually used these before on several different uh, pieces of kit and they are nice. It has this piece as well for quick detaching and getting out of it. Personally, I don't really like that part of it because I think it's a it's a potential failure point, especially if you're wearing comms gear and or and or hydration stuff, those sorts of things. But it is what it is. We have our 1913, uh, or rather, excuse me, hook and loop tape there, so that way you can put any kind of morale patches you want on there. It is cut for pals or molly webbing here on the cummerbund. It does also have mag pouches, uh, which certainly is nice all of the mag pouches you could ever want. There on the back, you can see we have some hook and loop tape as well, more PALS webbing, really well sewn in um, drag handle, which is nice. Again, I kind of think though, this point might be a failure point if we were actually dragging a real person, um, but just know that. And then it has this very good ventilation system here, which I actually really like. Uh, it's just padded uh, neoprene sections, but it keeps it off of you. So that way it is nice and breathable. You're gonna insert your armor there on the inside of this pouch. It doesn't have an internal retention portion. However, the portion that actually, the flap that comes out is going to act as your retainer, this piece right here when you put your armor in. And uh, that's enough of the actual plate carrier. Let's get into the actual place and start shooting them. We have the plate set up about 10 feet downrange, so pretty darn close. And uh, we have the box filled with lots of dirt, probably I would guesstimate 40 to 50 pounds of dirt. So it does have a good backing there, similar to what it would be like if it was actually on your torso. And uh, we'll start it out relatively light. We have this load here. It is a 38 Special 158 Grainer from Federal coming out of a uh, 340 J frame here. And uh, we'll get it started. Let's check it out. As you guys just saw, we had that impact right there. I can actually feel the bullet still sitting right there. I don't think it made it view through rather very many layers of that UHW MPE because I can pretty much feel the whole bullet right there. Um, and then we had a little bit of back face deformation. It's kind of hard to show on camera, particularly with a multi-cam finish, but there was a little bit there. Anyway, let's step it up. Next up, we have the 124 grain Minuteman coming out of the A-Rex Delta. So nine millimeter, a little bit more power. ready as you guys probably just saw with the slow-mo we had the impact there and uh, it definitely had more uh, force for sure in terms of back face deformation there with the nine mil but stopped it just fine as you would expect from level 3a and uh, just gonna have a little bit more uh, of your chest caved in I guess you could say so we'll keep stepping it up next up we have some federal 165 grain 40 s and w but coming out of an eight inch barrel here on the Banshee. If you guys check out my chronograph I did with this thing, it's equivalent to most of your 10 millimeter loads. So I actually don't think it's rated for this with the speed. <laughs> we'll see, see how it does. 
Let's see. As you guys probably saw in the slow-mo, it definitely had more energy than anything before. It actually dented the box there, but we had our impact here, no pass-through. So that's a good thing. Uh, just again, a little bit more back face deformation, actually a good bit more than that uh, nine millimeter had, but that's to be expected. Like I said, it's got a lot more energy coming out of that eight inch barrel. Let's keep going. I've probably already rolled in the chart in terms of what the ratings mean for armor, but this is gonna be the limit of this uh, actual piece of kit. So we have 357 Magnum, 180 grain, Swift A-frame from Federal. This stuff is nasty, it packs a punch, and we're throwing it out of my 686 uh, with a five inch barrel. This is, again, as long as it passes this, then it's passed. That, that This is the maximum it is expected to stop, but it's probably gonna, to form it a little bit, we'll see. <laughs> Let's check it out. As you guys probably just saw by the slow mo, it handled it, ate it up, and uh, no pass through. We had our point of entry right there but good bit of back face deformation. If you got hit with that at this distance, you would feel it. Again, that's a powerful round, guys, uh, for a pistol. So at this point, this plate has passed. It has done everything it's supposed to do, but if anybody's watched this channel before, you guys know all armor must die here. So we're gonna keep going until we kill it. Next up, guys, we have this load here. It's high brass Rio 12 gauge, nine pellet buckshot. We're gonna load it up here in our M4 and send that thing home. It's, it's gonna put a hurt on it. There ain't no doubt about that. You're gonna feel it after this. <laughs> Let's check it out. As you guys probably saw by the slow-mo, it hit hard. And at this distance, that thing is still patterning really, really tight. We do have our wad, which is impaled in there, which I can pull out now. And if I can kind of open it up here, best we can anyway. There we go. You guys can see all of those impacts were right here. So probably a two inch pattern at this distance. It absolutely hit it hard, but we had absolutely no pass through. It did punch into the box. So you guys might've thought it was passed through from that slow-mo, but it's not, there's no pass through as you guys can see. It was just the actual back face deformation causing that. Anyway, still alive. We're gonna keep going. With level 3A, one thing that people always ask about is will it stop a subsonic 300 blackout? Um, because it's going a similar velocity to what you'd see with like a 45 ACP, for example. So in the gun right now, or in the mag right now, at the top there, we have some 190 grain tumble upon impact from maximum defense. It is subsonic. I'm gonna shoot it out as a five inch barrel. I actually chronicled this before. It's coming in right around mid 950 in terms of foot, feet per second, excuse me. And uh, we'll see if it can stop it. Again, full disclosure, it is not rated to stop this. But, never know, we'll find out. Let's see. If you're new to armor testing, when you see the armor not move, that's not a good sign. Uh, so we had our impact and we passed right on through there. Um, it actually wasn't even tearing at it, which sometimes you will see, um, but I'm guessing it's because of the specific uh, BC of that round. It's very um, tight and it's not designed like a typical subsonic 300 blackout would be where it has a little bit more area to grab onto. But again, not rated for it. It did really well in my opinion. It handled everything we could throw at it. Probably, again, not rated for that 40 out of that barrel, but it took it like a champ and uh, cannot complain about it at all, especially considering the price point and the weight of it. With that, folks, it does conclude the test. We started out the day looking like this, ended up the day looking like this, but we did learn it stands up to everything it's rated for, so cannot be mad about that. Again, guys, codes uh, specific for channel viewers here will be on your screen and down below in the video description. Link to pick this stuff up will either be pinned in the comments or down below in the video description. Um, so there is that. If you guys are new here and you haven't hit the subscribe button, please go ahead and do so. Additionally, I'm filming this right now in January of 2020, 2021, excuse me, and uh, social media is getting a little bit crazy right now, so 
If you like this type of content, be sure to subscribe to my email list. The one at mrgunsandgear.com is just uh, my content since the last email. I email it out so that way there's no social media giant in between us. And if YouTube takes me down for whatever reason, it'll be up somewhere else and it'll be in that email. I also send a couple deals that I find along the way. And then I have a specific deals email as well. Um, if you guys can sign up, want to sign up for that, feel free to do so. If not, no worries. But if these things go on sale or there's a better code or anything like that, I will email it out so everybody can know. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, I have a new Instagram because Instagram <laughs> deleted my old one. It's up here on your screen. All of the social media should be up here on your screen but that is pretty much it guys thanks for watching i truly appreciate it i can't do any of this without all of your eyes and i appreciate each and every one of you look forward to seeing everybody in the next video